Hi guys! It is Amazing Purple Girl. It has been over a month. It's been hot in the UK and also there's been times where it's just been very difficult but we're back with Thimbleweed Park episode 12. <laughs> it's been a long time so we're just going to get back into it. What? on earth was I doing? Uh, I need to decode the will. Yeah. I need this a... is all in binary. Mm -hmm. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Yeah. So how do I do that? <laughs> what do it's I... my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 yeah. with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. I'm pretty sure I didn't have to do this in non-hard mode. Uh, I can't use that. This then. is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when. Shut up. <laughs> Ooh. Right, um... It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Well, Wonder who they are. No, oh, never heard of them. Oh, have I just switched it off? It's my state-of-the-art um, Commodore... I switched it off. Now I've switched it on. How do I write a program? It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch, because no Betamax players exist in this town. Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. I loved it, but not so sure about the ending. I'm a bit lost. How do I write a program? Is there anything else I can do? Probably. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The Printron 3000 was Uncle Chuck's final invention before he died. It's connected to my computer. Oh, hang on. Ah, that's all I needed to do. Okay. This isn't working. Oh, I'm going to need a pretty powerful right. programming language to decrypt this will. So where do I get a programming language from? I'll need more than a chart to decode this. Like maybe a powerful Commodore 64. But I have a powerful Commodore 64. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, yeah, that was the problem. So what do I do? Um, maybe... I think I went to the library, didn't I? And it didn't really help much. Diggin! This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. It doesn't work with that. No. I don't need to find no. any books now. I don't need to find any books. So where do I get... Is that what we need in the computer? Uh, not the computer, the arcade. Let's go to town. Um, I think it's B Street. I think this is another reason that I haven't played for a while because I remember thinking I, I really don't know what to do next. Should we answer the phone? It's out of order. It's but not. It's how ringing. is it ringing? <laughs> it's out of order. But how is it ringing? I don't know. It's scary. Hey, at least I got the right street for once. 
Who could be afraid of a meteor? Especially one that's purple. <laughs> this one was really thrilling, but only when you were killing. It's out of order. <laughs> killing is really... It's for a mucus phlegm adventure game called Jason the News Guy. David Fahartz is a genius designer. Okay. I don't know if that's a real person. I like it when the enemies die. Very realistic red pixel blood. It's assume, out of order. I assume it's not a real person. It's based on I real grew up person. playing this game. It's why I wanted to be a game developer when I grew up. Gotta be crazy mad to play this game. Or you'll be crazy mad when you finished. That's, that sound went mono for a second there. It's the famous game, Tuna Head. Everyone has to play this at least once. It's out of order. But it's out of order. It says, Tokentron 3000 is guaranteed to dispense exactly one token each and every time. A maximum of 12 tokens allowed in circulation at once. Hmm. It's an LFG1982 tube in perfect condition. I can't open that. No. Shock me. I know, you're looking at me like, come on, do something. Where did I leave everyone else? Oh, here. <laughs> everyone here. <sighs> it's addressed to me. I've been waiting for this. Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. It looks well, like back a, to work, Abu. Looks like a tube puller. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Near the end of the game. Not yet then. Open your package. Yes! It's my father's watch. Lovely. It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken, and only a professional will be able to fix it. Oh, well, we know who a professional is, don't we, Willie? It's a rare first edition of my fantastic comic book. Of course. It's a page from my joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke. Got the page stuck it back into the right. joke book. <laughs> but I do need the other page. Um. You're up there, are oh. you? Oh, I'm, you know, really dead. Yeah. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. Yeah, no, you're I'm really never going to hold my Dolores again. I'm sorry. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. Oh, dear. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. <laughs> that only works in games. Just well, it's a game, isn't it? Float around here for a bit. He doesn't need a ticket, you see. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. Why do I have to work? I'm dead. <laughs> do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. Hmm. Can I have some, you know, cake? 
This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. I'll cry if you don't. How about taking pity on a, you know, poor soul? I can't waste a slice of cake for that <laughs> pathetic reason. Oh, Aww. okay. Sorry. Thanks anyway. Mean. Please, can I have some, you know, cake? I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. Hmm. How about it looks, you know, tasty? I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thanks anyway. Please, can I have some, you know, cake? I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. I just want some. How about, you know, I want some. I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thanks anyway. What was the last one? Please, can I have some, you know, cake? I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. Oh, hungry. No, you're not. How about, I'm, you know, hungry. I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, oh. okay. Sorry. Thanks anyway. You're so mean. I hate you, Virgil. See you soon, Virgil. The glow makes the cake look delicious. It's probably disgusting. Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the ransom look-alike contest. Oh, shall we be ransom? <laughs> How fast can you float to the door? Let's get ransom up there. I forgot about the ransom look-alike contest. Shut up! I didn't say anything! <laughs> Shut up! I need my joke book uh. in perfect condition before I enter the contest! Okay then, that's a no. <laughs> we can't do that. Oh, it's so weird, I can see Virgil. Can I see Franklin then? Where did I leave him? There's the cake. Yeah, there's Franklin. There's the cake. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Game design, probably. Cutting edge computer technology. Cutting edge, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I want you to spot me. You, I'm not going to jump on that without a spotter. Safety first. spot you want me to break my <laughs> neck be Sorry. careful okay then here i go almost got it yay thank you well that's that done got the page stuck back into the joke book uh dolores give him the map Great. More? More bleeping bleep. <laughs> okay. But we're going to bleeping use it. Back to the hotel. So this should be right now. It's my yeah. joke book in perfect condition. If you don't mind hamster crap. I don't mind hamster crap. We have a gerbil. Well, it's my son's, obviously. But, you know. I look after it mostly. 
Alright, let's go. Ah, does she use... Ah, I wonder if that's the computer she needs. So, maybe come in here after. Ready to face my yep. adoring public and win this contest already. Of course. Thank you all for coming to witness the Ransom Lookalike Contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? Huh, it stinks in here. Guess, well, it looks like we've got some great entries and some not so great entries. But I'll be the judge of that. That's right, I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Corey. I have big hair. He does! Oh my! That's funny! Am I missing something here? Ooh, that's some cape you've got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. That's not I answer. hope there's a Batman lookalike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> so convincing. You've gotta be kidding. That wasn't an insult. It was a crappy compliment. You... I don't like hats. Is that the only fact you know about me? Who are you? Why do I bother? Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. No one's giving any bums money. They live off scraps like the rest of us. You guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this since the Manson family. Don't you know it's disrespectful to speak of the dead that way? Especially the faultless Chuck Edmund. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? The Tron machines have saved our town countless times. There's no reason not to rely on them. Bunch of ingrates. <laughs> Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Corey. I have to be Corey as well, do I? Yep. Bloop, bloop, and beep, bloop! It's beep for sake, not bloop. Don't be mean. But I'm ransom. I hold you all ransom with my jokes. Clever. <laughs> ransom, ransom, so smart. You're all silly billies, but you're still lovable. Oh, Kill me now. Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is obviously Corey. Corey. Oh my! Thank you! Corey wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog. But well, well, you sure. can just walk into any toy store and buy that already. Second place is Corey. Of course it well is. Totally rigged. How can anyone compete with Corey? It's a pleasure to come second to his first. You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction <laughs> surgery. How exciting. Do you need it? Just like my Oof. hero, Michael Jackson. Ooh. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, That's anyway? A... It's... Ransom, you idiot! Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. Ugh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. Yay! Congratulations to those who put some effort in. I love an easy listening record.
Oh, cool. Oh, look, there it is. It's a crappy recording of theremin music. Big whoop. No, it's cool. Now that's a an improvement on that sign. I mean, it was a look-alike contest, so why was no one dressed as Ransom? A little bit confusing. Okay. So, we've done neat. Should we get Dolores up here? Oh, she's over there. Okay, we will. We'll get Ransom over there. Poor Dolores. I keep forgetting where I leave people. It's not good. Give Matt to Dolores. Carry this for me. Yeah, I wonder if the, this is the computer. But I wonder if I need to do something to be able to use it. It doesn't work with that. Oh, you're kidding me. It's a puzzle dependency chart. The secret to adventure game design. Ugh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all. Oh, cutting edge computer technology. The developers will get upset if I do more than look at this. Damn. So it's not that then. Uh. Starships in bottles, handmade. Why do you talk like the guy in The Simpsons? How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. Cool. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Warning! You only have <laughs> one chance to Shit. get this right. Which is the best science fiction show ever made? Oh, that's easy. Uh, it hasn't been made yet. Star Trek. Congratulations! Duh. You've won a replica of the Starship Isabella. What's the Starship Isabella? How do you make the Starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry mm. tools? They're up in my room, but I can't even leave this table to get some dinner. Can I mind your stand while you get me your tools? You'd need to know a lot about Star oh, Trek no. to be able to man my booth. Did you know that on Impulse Drive, it would take 400,000 years for the Enterprise to cross the galaxy? No. Actually, I do. Or that the Galaxy-class Enterprise is 353.5 meters longer than the Constitution-class Enterprise? No. Yes, I know. Well, I'm sure there is a lot more you don't know. So you see, it's perfectly obvious that I can't possibly leave my stand to an ignoramus <laughs> like you. Charming. But if you got me dinner, then maybe I could do something for you. Oh, okay. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. I have one now. The plaque says it's a tiny replica of the starship Isabella in a bottle. I... Yeah, okay. Right. Uh... We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this- Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? Eh, it's not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. 
I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. See, sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers till they're gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Oh, don't eat it. This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh... Gotta go. Oh, have we got to... Oh, no. We've got to get everyone to eat a hot dog until they're all gone. Oh, Damn it. <sighs> I feel better now. Okay. So, I can't keep making her eat them, obviously. Who's eaten one so far? I can't remember Thanks. who had the first one. Oh, I'll soon find out, won't I? Where's the map? From? I just, oh, I'm not in Reyes, that's what. That sounded wrong! What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. No, We're trying not. to move him out. It's a very bad choice. Oh. Must have oh. been Agent Ray. Oh. There's no way that he'd have another okay. if he'd had one. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. Got one back. I, um... Gotta go. Blah, blah. Ooh, everyone's blah. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely <sighs> pixelated puke. I feel better now. Yeah, I bet you do. Right. Last person would be Ransom. Uh, where did I leave Ransom? At the circus. I've got to move him out then. Damn. Okay, Dolores. Uh, no. Ah! Uh, has he got chlorophobia? I can't remember. I'll soon find out. Yeah, he's got chlorophobia. Oh, that's okay. I brought Ransom to him. I, I brought Ransom. God, I don't speak English sometimes. I brought him to Ransom. Right. There we go. So now Reyes can give Ransom the map. No, not use. Give. What the? F you can't carry this. No. <laughs> you need it. Shut up. Right, you're going to the quickie. No, not the quickie. The diner. S and D diner. You know you're not welcome in here, oh. Ransom. I don't know. Tell it to someone that cares. Just order your food and get lost. Okay, I'll have a hot dog. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. Yeah, I think it We're will. We're trying to move them before... Well, before the flies get them. And then I can get a hamburger. Help choke on it. Yeah, I'm sure I will. <laughs> this tastes like crap, and I ought to know. I, uh, gotta go. <laughs> oh, gross. <sighs> I feel better now. I feel better now. <clears throat> I 
I'm tired of carrying this. Okay, fine. I will take it and use it. Now I should be able to get a burger. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The feds are watching. Welcome to the S&D diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot Literally. dogs, you can have a hamburger. Let's Dave, shift in the map. burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket, just in case. Now, don't eat it this time. Here you go, hon. Right. I see I've got... I have got a feeling we did get them to eat it. Or... Uh, use the map. Uh, map always goes to the top. Right, uh, hotel? Uh, imagine things. Come on. Maybe I us. wonder what the guest is up to now. What guest? So mysterious. Right, you. I have a burger for you. Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Good. Mm. Yum. Mm. Delicious. Mm. <laughs> I... Uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Sure. Still wait there then, what do I do? I don't know what room he's in. Shut up in there! Enterprise versus Star Destroyer? The Enterprise has teleporters! Debate over, now shut up! Hello, Dolores! How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. Well, Dimple Conabu just opened to record crowds. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Nice back. Starships in bottles, handmade. How are you feeling now? Do you want another hamburger? Hamburger? How can you say that? Oh, oh, bad memories. I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. The doors are closed. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Not a game. Not a game. Ugh, Chuck, Earl, vomit. Shut up in there! Ninjas fight alone! Pirates will always beat them! Ha! 
Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. It's locked. It's locked. It's a door. An ashtray for the smokers. Starships in bottles, handmade. How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? They're up in my room, but I can't even leave this table to get some dinner. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Can't cope with the boredom anymore. Talk to me now. Okay. I'm not very good at talking to, you know, strangers, but I'll give it a try. How come you're so, you know, upset all the time? That's unfair. I'm not upset all the time. I'm just a little hungry right now, and that makes me angry. That happens to me, too. There should be a word for that. What can ghosts, you know, eat? As a ghost, it's hard to find food that we can eat. My particular weakness has always been ice cream cake. But I'm stuck in this stupid elevator and I can't get any. So, Clara, what's life like as, well, you know, a, a ghost? For starters, it's not life. Of course, but you know what I mean, right? What's it like? It's like being a ghost. Can I, you know, please go to the penthouse? No. Hmm, please. No, you're not my friend. I don't know you anything. Bye, Clara. Starships in bottles, handmade. 
Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Starships in... How are you feeling now? Do you want another hamburger? Hamburger? How can you say that? Oh, ugh, bad memories. I... Uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. I need to get into the factory to steal. Uh, I mean, find the secret to the AI. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. The doors are closed. Not a game. Ugh, sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Ow! That hurts. Bleh. Bleh. Ow! That oh, that's better. Now to get back to work. Tiny tools for working on starships and bottles and jewelry. That doesn't use electricity. I get no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one is around. Turn lemons into lemonade? I don't even like lemonade. The Hoteltron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. Chuck's reach extends everywhere in this town, even from his grave. If I zap that, someone might notice and get suspicious. My hand just passed through the pages. I can't open it. Tiny tools for working on starships and bottles and jewelry. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. It's now showing I love my cat. It's now showing banana, banana, bananas. The only way to protect yourself is to fight back. And now back to our special hostile takeover. Looks like the other painting. Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as toilet tissue. The lid of a toilet? Things don't get more amazing than that. That doesn't use electricity. I don't know what I mean when I say, you know.
Starships in bottles. Handmade. How are you feeling now? Do you want another hamburger? Hamburger? How can you say that? Oh, ugh, bad memories. I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. It's getting dark out there now. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Ow! That hurts. The elevator isn't on this floor. Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. How about Clara said she wants some, you know, cake? For Clara? That changes everything. For her, I'd do anything. Here, take a slice. Just make sure you tell her it's from me. Thanks. I'll do that. See you soon, Virgil.